Hello ladies, um, I am here to show you, to create a video to show you how to apply lip sense. Um, so I wanted to first say why I love lip sense so much, which is first and foremost that it just simply stays on your lips, it doesn't smudge, doesn't transfer on to other things, so you can kiss your husband, you can have some coffee, and you won't lose your lip sense off your lips. Um, and then I also love that this product is applied in multiple layers, which gives you a lot of versatility. You can uh, make a ton of colors with only a few actual tubes of lip sense. So I'm going to talk through the steps of what to do and then show you because you can't let your lips uh, touch when you are applying lip sense in between layers. And when it's, you talk, unfortunately, your lips uh, touch together a lot of the time. So. First, you're gonna to need to pick out your color or colors and your gloss. So today I'm going to be doing Bella. This is a color that I haven't tried yet. I've been really excited to, to try it because a lot of people really love it. And it's gonna be my first time using it. I get to break the seal, which is so exciting. I'll be doing Bella in three layers and then I'll be using Glossy Gloss, which is the best color for all first time uh, users of limb sets because it's the most moisturizing and everyone um, needs to go through the exfoliation process when you initially use lip sense. So first you pick out the color in your gloss. Sorry my bird wants to be a part of this apparently. Um, then you need to clean and dry your lips. Uh, I just applied makeup a little bit ago so I will inevitably have some foundation that's on my lips but even if your lips are don't have any makeup on them, you will have some saliva and just some other debris that's on there. So you should always clean your lips first. I just use water and a washcloth, but you can also use witch hazel and a cotton um, round, something like that. And then also if you normally use chapsticks, which I just add layers and layers of wax, um, you need to get that off your lips as well. And once you start using lip sense, you really shouldn't use those products anymore because they will just counteract all of the benefits of the lip sense products. There's shea butter in the glossy glass and um, and so that's the kind of moisture that you want. Then you shake the tube and I'll show you that and when you shake the tube you are just mixing the pigments with all the other components of the lip sense and so that the pigments are evenly distributed throughout the product as you're applying so you get a nice even look. It's important to shake the tube like this and not like banging it against your hand or a table because you're at risk of damaging the product, like breaking the wand that's inside and then that's very counterproductive. Um, you're always going to be applying in three layers. I would avoid applying more than three layers because the thicker it is, the easy, you know, you have um, a thicker layer that it then can not just wear as well. The longevity won't be as long. The first layer is the one that touches your skin of your lips, of course, and so it's the first to break down, and it breaks down the fastest just because it's interacting with the pH of your lips. The layer two is the one that's protected from both the skin and the environment, and so that one is the last to break down. And then layer three protects layer two from saliva, from just the friction as you're eating or talking, moving your lips around. So uh, when you open up your lip sense, and pull out the wand. Uh, different colors will have more excess on the wand and like especially my frost color like hun honey rose. You really have to wipe off a lot of excess. It's better to um, have too little than too much. You can always get a little bit more. And so you wipe off excess and then you apply in a very nice thin consistent layer. You apply in a slow sweeping motion and you don't go back and forth. You can go like this and then kind of go back over it a little bit if you need to touch something up, but no this way and then back over it because you'll end up wiping it off. Um, Lip Sense does have SD alcohol 40B in it. Um, you know, I'm in medicine, so I like to look up uh, papers and I was just reading a paper in the International Journal of Toxicology and they describe how this alcohol, um, it was found to not be irritating or cause allergic reactions in human subjects. And so it's definitely safe and it's, but it may cause your lips to sting, especially if you're new to lip sense, just because your lips might be dry and they aren't as uh, healthy as they will be after you have used lip sense for a while. So your lips may initially sting or tingle, but I promise that this goes away after you've used lip sense for a while and the stinging isn't particularly painful or anything. It's just a different sensation than you're used to. 
And the alcohol is important because it helps the product evaporate quickly so that there's fast drying between the layers and that the color, the pigment, just really layers on your lips nicely. It also sanitizes your lips and helps to keep the tubal lip sense itself germ-free. And it also thins out the product so that you get nice even layers, no clumping or anything ugly like that. Um, in between your three, each of your layers, you need to ensure that you pause long enough to let the product to dry, again, so you get a nice even look. They say at least five seconds. I really say at least 10 seconds. I really try to aim more for even up to 30 seconds in between each layer, just to really make sure you let the product soak in. Um, colors like apple cider and hazelnut are a little more thick, and you really need to work on applying those nice and thin in order to get a good look. Um, and then finally, after you've applied your third layer and let it dry well, you apply your gloss and this is what gives you the moisture, shea butter, and it will soak in and kind of moisturize your lips. And then especially initially once it's on, when it's on top of the three layers, it's just another layer of protection. When you initially start using lip sense, you need to have gloss a few times a day. First, when you apply, maybe before lunch, by the end of the day. And if your lips are feeling dry in between those uh, glosses is fine. As you wear lip sense, you'll need reapplication of gloss less frequent because your lips will be healthier. So I'll go ahead and get started. So I'm using this uh, washcloth and I'm going to just wipe my lips. <coughs> Currently living at my mom's house and she has three dogs, so I apologize for the noise. And as you can see, there's actually a lot of stuff that came off my lips. And I'm not scrubbing, I'm not trying to hurt my lips, I'm just gently wiping. Okay, and then it should dry quickly, but make sure your lips are nice and dry. And then, like I said, you have to shake the bottle. Sometimes Pigwidgeon gets a little jarred when I am shaking, if he's on my shoulder when I'm trying to apply. But look, he's actually pretty well balanced. So shake it up nicely. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that well, but there's a lot on the tube, so or on the wand, so wipe it off. And then this is when I'll probably stop talking as much. That was layer number one. If you really mess up, you can use up to remover to fix it. I was layering down there too.
Okay, so I need to just wait and let this dry for a little while before I apply my gloss. As you can see, I didn't always reinsert the wand into the tube in between doing the top rod and lip. Just kind of depends on how much uh, color you still have on the wand. I'm feeling it's tacky. It's still a little tacky over here, which means it needs, needs more time to dry, but still there's none on my finger. Right here, it's tacky. Some people even use a little fan or a blow dryer to make it dry faster. Okay, so once it's sufficiently dry, get your gloss. Yeah, a little bit more. And you want your gloss, look, no transfer. Um, you want your gloss to cover all of the areas that you use lip sense to soak in and moisturize that area. Um, and um, I think that's it. Uh, again, I think this product is awesome. I hope that was helpful for you to see how to apply it. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about the application product process, if you're having problems with your product or need any advice, tips and tricks, etc. So hopefully this video was really helpful for you. Oh, I wanted to just show real quick, I guess, that there's no transfer. I can wipe down like this and it doesn't spread. You can see only a little bit of the glass just got onto my, the um, skin. And then Pigwidgeon, can you step up? He's white. And so obviously I've gotten lipstick, real other lipstick on him before and it's been pretty ugly, but I can kiss him and he has no color on his back because the stuff stays. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.